Welcome in this video, where we are going to implement the min-max algorithm in Python. Uh, so we will only focus on the implementation, I will not spend time explaining the algorithm, but in case you want more detail about it, I have a course uh, on Udemy about it, and I will put the link in the description. So let's dive into the implementation. We will start from the pseudocode from Wikipedia, and we will translate this code into uh, in this pseudocode into Python code. So that will be straightforward, the code will be maybe 20 or 30 lines. Um, and it does not need to be more complex than that. So let's dive into the implementation. We can start by creating uh, the function call. So uh, the min-max algorithm, it's taking as input a game state, so a node, uh, the depth um, that we want to reach, uh, the, the de depth to which the algorithm uh, should go, on uh, a flag that says if we are maximizing the scroll of the node or if we are minimizing it. So first we check if the depth is equal to zero, or if the node is a terminal state, uh, and uh, if so, we return the, uh, the score of the node. And we also return another value, none, I will come to that in a moment. Uh, if we go back to the pseudocode, we see that it's a straightforward implementation of the pseudocode. We just check if the depth is equal to zero, or if it's a terminal node, and then we return the value of this node. Um, then we need to check if, our maxim uh, if, our, if we need to maximize the score, or otherwise if we are mi minimizing it. If we are maximizing the score, we first set the value to min minus infinity, and we loop over each uh, child node of the current node, and we call the minimax algorithm recursively on it. So let's do that. So we can check first if we are maximizing the, no the value of the node. If so, we set the value to minus infinity, as was mentioned in the pseudocode. On uh, what we do, we get all the moves that we can do from a game state, so from a node, and then uh, from those moves, we can uh, get the child. So basically, from a given node, I can call the function get new state. To uh, so I do a move from a, uh, from a state, and I uh, get a child. Um, so basically, our implementation is very generic. It can work on any games. It, you just need to provide uh, an API with those uh, with those functions. So for example, let's say you are uh, you have a game of chess, you just need to have a function that gives the score of a given state of the board. You need to, uh, you need to have a, a function that uh, gives you all the moves that you can do from a given state. And you also need a function that tells you, um, uh, that, that plays the move on that uh, gives you a new state from a previous state. Um, so very generic, generic implementation, it can work on any game. Um, so once we've done that, so once we have the child, we need to call the minimax algorithm recursively. Uh, so uh, yeah, okay, let's do that and I will come to the pseudocode in a moment. So what we do, we call the minimax algorithm recursively. So we get the value TMP, so basically the, the value returned by the minimax algorithm. If the value uh, of the child node is greater than the value, uh, than the current value, uh, we set we set we set the value to TMP. That means that we found uh, a move that was better than the previous best move, and we can also uh, store best movement. Um, we can store the best move uh, that we can do from this current node. Um, and basically, this is why there is this non-value at the very end. We will return the value, but also the best movement that we can do, because when we call the minimax algorithm, what we are interested in is to know what is the best move we can do. Uh, and this is why we also need to return it. So when we are at a, when we are at a leaf node, there is no uh, movement. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, too deep in in the uh, in the tree. But at uh, uh, at at other la layers, we, we need to return the best movements. But that will be clearer at the very end. Uh, let's uh, focus now on my, um, minimization. So uh, this time we set the value to infinity. And uh, again, we get all the possible moves. We iterate over all those moves to get the child nodes, and we call uh, the minimax algorithm recursively. So we uh, need to decrease the depth uh, because uh, we, are, we are going uh, one layer deeper. And uh, if we are minimizing, the next layer will be about maximization. So we need to set maximization to true. Uh, or when we were doing maximization, we set uh, we set it to false because the uh, the following layers was going to do a minimization. Uh, this time again, um, so because in this uh, in this um, in this part of the code we want to do minimization. This time we check if the TMP value is lower than the value. Uh, 
uh, that means that the uh, that the child node uh, that the move to get to the child node is the best move uh, for now so we say best movement equal to move and we uh, update the value uh, and that's all at the rear end we can return the value so the best value the best score we can reach by uh, doing uh, the best movement so we return the best movement the move we need to do on the value we'll get so that's a very generic implementation it will work on any game you just need to um, to to create a, a wrapper with those function calls on your game and it will work properly we can make a test to the game of tic-tac-toe this is why i have imported this game state uh, i will link uh, i will give a link uh, to, th to this code in the uh, description um, so i import this module uh, that is about the tic-tac-toe algorithm uh, the, the tic-tac-toe game with those function calls and then i can uh, test my, my algorithm so we can uh, we, we first initialize the tic-tac-toe game so uh, uh, we create a grid of size 3 by 3 the O will start uh, playing uh, and we can uh, create a game state from those uh, two variables so while the game is not in a terminal state while the game is not over uh, I can call the minimax algorithm to get the best move to do um, so I will print the movement that the algorithm chose and then uh, I will um, I will play recursively until the game is done. So basically, in this case, I have uh, uh, the min-max algorithm that is playing against itself. Um, on we, at each uh, at each turn, we we print the uh, we print the movement that was chosen on the winner of the game. So basically, you can uh, modify this code to play against the algorithm, for example. But in this in, in this uh, in this implementation, you have the algorithm that is playing against itself. I really hope this video was helpful to you. Um, that the implementation is clear if it was please leave a thumbs up it really helps with this uh, channel and subscribe for more content about ai and machine learning